there's a front and a back side to this, so if you use marker, it will bleed through. So please, I suggest colored pencil rather than marker. Despite the fact that I'm going to use marker, but that's just so you guys can see what I'm drawing. We have here a battery, we have a switch, and we have two light bulbs. With one of your colors, we are going to start at one end of the battery. We are going to go through the switch. We are going to travel to the first light bulb. We're going to go in through that light bulb. And we are going to return to the wire and to the opposite end of the battery. We have a complete path. But yet, there is yet another path. Starting once again at the battery. Flowing through the switch to here, and now I follow this next wire to the following light bulb and have it return to the other wire where it then returns to the battery. What type of circuit do we have? That circuit is parallel. Now, you can't tell very well with the switch here, but my if the light bulbs are on, Okay, is this a closed or an open circuit? This is a closed circuit because the lights are shining. Okay, next, instead of using a battery, we have an outlet. Take one of your colors. We're going to follow the wire and go through the first light bulb. We have a switch next to that light bulb, and then we are going to return to the outlet. That's one path. Do we have more than one path? Yes. What type of cir circuit do we therefore have? Parallel. Follow the wire through the second path, through the second light bulb, through the second switch, and return to the outlet. We have two paths, therefore we have a parallel circuit. Now I don't know if you can tell very well, but by the picture you're supposed to see that those are glowing. So is this circuit open or closed? You can see by the switches. This is a closed circuit. The switches show us that it is closed. Okay, next. Starting at one end of the battery, going around, get to this light bulb. Uh-oh, what's wrong? It's, it's a broken light bulb. <gasps> what does that mean? All right, are these in series or parallel? No. They're series. One light bulb is out, so? None of them light up. We say, that, is, this, is the circuit open or closed? Open. Okay, and notice I only drew until I got to the bubble. What? Circuit's incomplete. Okay. All right, this one. This one's a little tricky. Okay, we've got three batteries here. Okay. Now, remember, I, kept, I keep saying you start at one end of the battery and you go to the other. Notice this positive end of the battery, positive end of the battery, positive end of the battery. If you try and connect these up, you're going from positive end to positive end. That doesn't work. You have to go from positive end to negative end. We need to align the batteries. They need to be going head to tail. Okay, so we would need to switch that battery around in order for this circuit to work. Make sense? All right. Next example. Take your color. Start at one end of the battery. 
follow the wire. Go through the first light bulb. Wire returning to the opposite end of the battery. We have one path. Now let's see if we have another path. Follow the wire. Continue following the next wire through the second light bulb. And returning to that for that other wire. And then back to the opposite end of the battery. How many paths do we have? Two paths. Is this series or parallel? Parallel. Is it open or closed? Closed. So go ahead and show light shining. The lines that say the light bulb is on. Light bulb on. All right, next. If you look at this one carefully, you can see that the these are the batteries. These are the light bulbs. Okay, this is a picture we're dealing with here. Okay. If you look very carefully, you can see that the batteries, that's a positive end, that's a negative end because it has like a little tip on it. Okay. So that's positive, negative end, and this goes from the positive to the negative end of that one, and that's positive end. That's negative, that's positive, that's negative, that's positive, that's negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay? So all of those batteries are lined up head to tail. Does that make sense? Now, have you ever had a, some sort of toy or electronic device or something in your house, and you take the batteries out because you, you've got to replace them, they're dead, and you put them in, and it doesn't work? What's the first thing you do? You go open it back up and make sure you lined up the batteries the right way. Because if you don't line them up the right way, it doesn't work. You ever notice that? That's what we're talking about here. We're trying to line them up head to tails. The positive end, negative end, positive end, negative end. Starting at one end of your battery, you're going to be flowing through all of these batteries here. Through one light bulb, through another light bulb, through a third light bulb, back to the opposite end. Is a series or parallel? Series. Here we have a series circuit. Why is this a series circuit? There's only one path for the electricity to flow through. Okay? So right here, the batteries are lined up head to tail. Okay? We have one light bulb there. Back to the opposite end. All right, I can do it all over again through a second light bulb. And I can do it yet again. Though it's kind of hard to get to see it at this point because of all of the colors that are going on here. But we end up with what type of circuit? Parallel. Parallel. Now those two circuits we just did, are they open or are they closed? They're closed. Light down closed. Next each of those circuits. Next circuit. Start at one end of the battery. Follow the wire. Do not lift your pin up. And we get to the switch and... It's open. Ah! So our light bulb does not light, but our light bulb's lit here because those were closed circuits. So open circuit, is this series or parallel, this circuit right here? Series. Next one. Start at one end of the battery and follow the wire. Go through light bulb A, sorry, light bulb B, light bulb A, and return back to the opposite end of the battery. We have one complete path there. Starting again. Ah! All right. Well, we were about to make another path, but it's open. So what type of circuit do we have? Series or parallel? It's parallel. There are... More, there is more than one path, but this one, sorry, is open or closed? All right, my purple one is open, but this one is closed. So light bulbs A and B are lit up. 
light bulb C is dark. Going through the first light bulb, and then going through the third light bulb, and returning to the opposite end of the battery. Is it series or parallel? Parallel, parallel because more than one path. Is it open or closed? Closed. So what does that tell us about the lights? They are on. But the back side, it's a little bit more fun challenge. Flip over your worksheet. Now for the challenge. Okay. First diagram right here. I want you to draw the little lines. So that's a light bulb. That means it's on. That is a light bulb. That's off. Go through and on the first one. Which light bulbs are turned on? Draw little lines around them. Start at one end of the battery. Follow the wire. Light bulb one. Do, 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 do. Oop. Hit an open switch. Okay, so that can't be its path. Let's try this way. Ah! Hit an open switch. Okay, back up. Let's get to here. Ah! Open switch. Okay, everywhere I tried to go, I hit an open switch. Does light bulb one light up? No. No. Is light bulb three going to light up? No. How about four? How about two? No. no. No light. Okay, next scenario. I have closed switch number one. Now, figure out which light bulbs will light up with switch number one closed. Okay, so we know for sure at least which light bulbs are lit up. All right, one and two for sure are lit up. If I attempt to go through this wire, I hit an open circuit. If I attempt to go through this wire, sorry, open switch, I hit another open switch. So are light bulbs three or four going to light up? No. Yes, we get this. All right, next one. I have now closed switch number two, but switches one and three are still open. Which light bulbs are going to light up? So, which light bulbs are going to light up? One, three, and two. So which light bulbs light up? One, three, and four. One, three, and two. Bulb four does not light.
So what do we discover with the last two circuits? All four bulbs light up in both of those circuits.